Chapter 3, Sequence and Series, Lecture 2 Partial Sum of Aromatic Sequence So the formula is given by Sn equal to N over 2 multiply 2A plus N minus 1 multiply with D So it also can be write as Sn equal to N over 2 multiply with A plus L. Let's look at the first example. Find the sum of the first 50 odd numbers. So let's list down several odd numbers. So we have 1, 3, 5. So we're going to sum all the odd number until the 50 odd number that is 99 all right so from here we have the first term a equal to 1 and we look at the common different is 2 so d equal to 2 now we're going to use the formula Sn equal to n over 2 multiply with 2a plus n minus 1 multiply with d, the common difference. Alright. Now the n is 50 as 50 equal to 50 over 2 multiply with 2 times 1 plus 49 multiply with 2 let's simplify 50 over 2 multiply with 2 times 1 plus 49 we can cancel 2 here and we will get 50 multiplied with 50 and we will get 2500. Next question. An amphitheater has 50 rows of seat with 30 seat in the first row, 32 seat in the second row and 34 in the third row and so on so find the total number of seat from the question we know the first term t1 or a we have 30 t2 the second row 32 the third row is 34 so from here we know the common difference d is equal to 2 now we're going to find the total sum of 50 rows of c use the formula s50 is equal to 50 over 2 multiply with 2 times 30 plus 49 multiply with 2 now let's simplify 50 over 2 2 multiply with 30 plus 49 can cancel 2 here so 50 multiply with 79 so from here we will get 3950 next we're going to look at the new subtopic geometric sequence so a geometric sequence is a sequence of number 
in which any terms can be obtained from the previous term by multiplying by a certain number called the common ratio. The general terms of a geometric sequence is given by Tn equal to A multiplied with R to the power of N minus 1. And the common ratio R is given by R equal to Tn over Tn minus 1. Now we look at the first question. Find the general term for the geometric sequence in 16, 32, 64, and so on. Okay, from here we know the first term is E and the common ratio we can get by dividing 16 over E and we will get 2. Next, we use the formula Tn equal to A multiplied with R to the power of N minus 1. Next, we substitute the value first term A and the common ratio 2. and to the power n minus 1. From here we can simplify. We will get 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power n, multiply with 2 to the power of negative 1. Okay, so from here we will get 3 minus 1 equal to 2, that means 2 to the power of 2 multiply with 2 to the power of n and we will get 2 to the power of n plus 2. So this will be the general terms of the geometric sequence. Next question, the n term of a sequence Tn equal to 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. The first one, show that the sequence is a geometric progression. Okay, so we find first for A, the first term, substitute n equal to 1. So we will get 1 minus 1, 0, 2 over 3 to the power of 0 equal to 1. Second term, substitute 2. So 2 minus 1 equal to 1. So the second term is 2 over 3. And let's find the third term. 2 over 3 to the power of 3 minus 1 and we will get 2 over 3 to the power of 2. From here, we are going to find the common ratio. The first common ratio T2 over T1. So 2 over 3 over 1 and we will get 2 over 3. Another common ratio we can find T3 over T2. So 2 over 3 to the power of 2 over 2 over 3. We can simplify and we'll get 2 over 3. Well, here we can see the common ratio is equal and we can see that The sequence is a geometric progression.
Second question, find the value of n where tn is equal to 256 over 6561. Alright, from here we can use the geometric progression formula e r to the power of n minus 1. We already know the first step is 1 and the common ratio is 2 over 3. And we're going to substitute the formula into the terms the n equal to 256 over 6561 so on the left Inside we have 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1 and equal to 256 over 6561. So we already learned in second chapter about solving index equation. So let's try use the index equation equalize the base and index on the left and the right hand side. Okay, so we already learned in chapter 2. And we will get here 2 over 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 8 and 3 to the power of 8 and we can simplify it into 2 over 3 to the power of 8 from here we can get value of n is equal to 9 